Hey folks, Mike Chiselle with Chiselle Mortgage Group here today to talk about can I buy a home with no money of my own? And the answer is absolutely with gift money. Okay, so I'll explain this. Gift money is money from a blood relative. Mom, dad, sister, brother, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, etc. Also, gift money can come from an employer, which is mostly very rare, and also from churches or foundations. Okay, but the most common by far is from a blood relative. Gift monies can be used for down payment, closing costs, and prepaids, so it can encompass the whole entire cash to close to buy a property. Okay, What is extremely important is how the documentation and paper trail is done on showing where the money came from and where it's going to. So three important things to do when you have gift money. Okay, These must be followed exactly. Number one, the signed gift letter. It states that, hey, who's involved, how much money is involved, it's not a loan, and they sign the paper saying it is a gift to be used to buy a property. Okay. Number two, the transfer of the money, very important. So what's happening is we need a copy of the donor's bank statement showing they had the money to give to the buyer. Why? Because they cannot go out and borrow money and use that as gift money because that's borrowed funds. So what happened is we have to prove that the relative already had the money sitting in their bank account, okay? So in addition to the copy of the bank statement showing the money to give, we need a copy of the check itself or the wire transfer, and then also the gift money and the wire transfer of the check must match exactly. So if it's a $10,000 gift, we must have a $10,000 deposit. We can't commingle funds. So the third part is depositing these gift funds into the borrower's account is do not commingle the funds. So if it's a $10,000 gift, it must be exactly a $10,000 deposit. Don't add more money to that because, again, it must match exactly. Number two, we need a copy of the deposit slip, okay, showing the deposit into the new account of the borrower. And then also, number three, a printout showing the balance. So it's best to get that stamped and dated by the teller to show the new printout, the balance in the account. Now, the most important thing is this. The money that was put into that account must come from that same exact account. You can't use money from another account to buy to do the buy the property from the gift money because the money where the uh, the account where monies went into that is where the money must come from. So if it's an account ending in one two three, it must come from the bank statement showing account one two three. Folks, if you have any questions regarding mortgage financing for any questions whatsoever, please call us at the office 727-376-6900. Mike Chiselle, Chiselle Mortgage Group. Thanks and have a fantastic day.